Hey guys, I'm back and in today's video, I'm giving you a hair update. My transition process is coming to an end, thank God. And I wanted to just touch bases with you on a few things regarding my transitioning hair. So, let's go. So I've been transitioning for 23 months now. My last relaxer was on June 18th of 2015. I thought two years would be, you know, a good amount of time to give me a good amount of length. And it is definitely a good amount of length. I'm pleasantly surprised at how much I have. And I'm excited to just be done with the transition phase. Okay, so talking texture. If I had to categorize my hair in a box, I would say it looks as though it would be more of a 3C, 4A hair type. Again, I'm. it's hard to tell that when you're transitioning because you still have relaxed ends, weighing your hair down, so you don't really know. I don't really care much about that. Just learning so much about my hair and just keeping my hair healthy is what I pay more attention to. The important thing to know when it comes to hair type, I would say is porosity. I have low porosity hair. So low porosity is when your hair repels moisture when you try to wet it. And I figured that was the case for me because when I wash my hair, my hair takes a little longer to fully absorb the water and become soaking wet. So right then and there, I already figured, you know, I think I have low porosity hair. And then I went and did the test and my hair did float because if your hair strand floats on top of the water, that means you have low porosity. The uh, strand is not absorbing that water. So that's something good to know because that helps you choose products. Uh, whether you need a creamier product or maybe a more lightweight product. And I think that's more important than hair type. FYI, just my little thing. So on to hairstyles that have worked for me. You see what I have in my hair right now? This is a braid out. Braid outs are my best friend. <laughs> Honestly, braid outs have been the number one style for me during this transition it's hands down the absolute best style to blend the two textures of my hair also rod sets are really great for me and my hair during this transition those are great styles it helps blend it gives a nice fluffy curl so i like that braid outs are closer to my actual curl pattern so that's nice because it gives me the feel of kind of like a wash and go but it's not a wash and go but i kind of see all right i see that little curl pattern in there and if i'm not doing any of those then my hair is probably in a bun or i'm wearing like a baseball cap and calling it a day <laughs> on to wash day my wash days now at uh 23 months into the transition they're pretty good. I do wash my hair in sections. I've always washed my hair in sections throughout my entire transition and it's worked. And at this point, it's like a breeze getting through it now. So I'm good, no complaints here. So on to my favorite products at the moment. Number one being the Aussie Moist Conditioner. Let's have a minute for that. That conditioner has so much slip and that's what you really need whether you're transitioning or whether you're fully natural, you need a conditioner with slip. And at this point of my transition, it is so easy for me to detangle and it's all thanks to that conditioner. My next set of favorite products for me will have to be Camille Rose Naturals. If you've been following me for a while, I know I sound very repetitive, but I'm being completely honest with you guys when I talk about products that I love. Camille Rose Naturals has some of the best moisturizing products that I've used for my hair throughout my transition. And I'm like thankful to them. They help my hair retain moisture. And as I've mentioned before, with low porosity hair, it's hard because my hair is repelling that moisture. My hair 
doesn't take moisture in quickly. So their products just, it just gels well with my hair. Like it just literally sinks into my strands and keeps my hair moisturized for as long as possible and I love it. So that's the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I haven't been giving any updates on my hair during this transition. Shame on me, I know. But I was super pumped to get this out to you just so I can touch base on a few things so you can see what my hair looks like and how my transition has been going and it's coming to an end and I'm excited about it. Also, if you aren't following me on social media, make sure you're doing that. Instagram and Snapchat, you need to be following me. I plan to do a hair Q&A video and I'm going to need your questions. So be sure to follow me on my social media platforms so that you can be first to know when I'm doing this video so that you can send me in all of your questions because I want to help you. I know I have a lot of people who are natural or transitioning who follow me on my channel and I really want to answer whatever questions I can for you guys. So be sure to stay tuned for that and I'll see you in my next upload.